From the front line in Ukraine to the big screen, Bernard-Henri Lévy shows the horror of Russia's invasion, the bravery of Ukrainian soldiers, and the suffering of the citizens. With this movie, he wants to call upon the democratic world to engage more in the support for Ukraine and makes clear that this war has to end with the Ukrainian victory. I would like this movie to convince people, uh, to help convince that the propaganda of Russia is, uh, is a fake, that uh, the courage of the Ukrainians is great and that what is at stake in this war of Ukraine goes much beyond Ukraine, much further. Uh, the West pretends to remain uh, just below the belligerence um, uh, activity, but in reality it is a worldwide war. Public opinion is crucial for warfare, a notion shared also by the Ukrainian ambassador to Israel, Yevgen Kornichuk, who attended the movie premiere. According to our polls, those news about the cruel war in Ukraine is out of the Israeli media. For different reasons, of course. You have lots of your own problems, you are in the, in the middle of the election right now, but still, uh, you are democracy and you are the part of the Western world. So you must be aware and uh, you definitely have the obligation to support. Then I do know, I do admire Israeli people that support Ukraine a great deal. The vast majority of the Israelis support Ukraine on this cruel and unprovoked war. But the current support is not enough. Bernard-Henri Lévy engages with the Ukrainian struggle for integration into the European community since the Orange Revolution 2004 that was triggered by fraudulent presidential elections. He paid several visits to Ukraine, sat down with Vladimir Zelensky right before his election as Ukrainian president in 2019. He invested efforts in the release of Ukrainian politician Yulia Tymoshenko from her arrest in 2014. Shortly after, he brokered a meeting between then French President François Hollande and Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko. For his most recent documentary, it was important to him to get to Ukraine right after the Russian invasion started, in order to show the world that its support is desperately needed. He met with soldiers at the battlefield and spoke to those who lost everything in the war. As a friend of Israel, as an Israeli by heart, as a committed Zionist, what I hope is to see Israel and Ukraine as sisters nations, sister nations, uh, sharing the same sort of destiny, alone against very strong enemies, fighting with courage and bravery. What I, what I would love is Ukraine, is Israel, to acknowledge more and more this sisterhood. The Ukrainian ambassador feels that the support for Ukraine in the war is big among Israelis, but he says it needs to be transferred to the political level. He calls on Israel's government to stick to its promises. We was uh, definitely talking about uh, the issue of bringing the wounded people to be treated in Israel, which is completely humanitarian mission. Even if we are talking about soldiers that lost their legs or they, they will not return to the army anymore. They are just human beings. They, they want to be treated. So now the European countries took over the five, 500 people that uh, uh, needed immediate support. And uh, it was basically the statements of the Israeli government to bring them in. Unfortunately, we don't see it. Although a movie can only do so much, Bernard-Henri Lévy hopes that it can draw attention to the suffering of Ukrainians in the war and the bravery of the soldiers who defend their country. And that through the solidarity of people in democratic countries, their leaders can be pushed into action.